Yeah, sub only formats are good for like one fight, but it can't be a, a whole tournament because people would be exhausted and it would become like a marathon jiu-jitsu, not like a really technical, you know, sometimes the, the one with more, the most endurance would win and, you know, it's, you know, it's not fair because you can have draws and sometimes when, you know, two, the best two guys go at first, then you, you wouldn't have the true winner at the tournament. And yeah, Jeff always come with tricky stuff. It's always a pleasure to to compete against him because he's a very uh, uh, technical guy. You know, he's not someone that, you know, uh, is trying to beat you by be, by being stronger than you or you know being uh, uh, faster than you. You know, he's just a very technical guy. A lot of tricks. You know, so it's always a pleasure to fight against him because you know I always learn and I'm always able to teach. You know, and few other new new techniques. You know, I'm always able to uh, discover other things. Is this a mission? Well, for a, 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 a super, a exhibition match, yes. You know, but I wouldn't com try to compete in a tournament that is a submission only. But you know, uh, I'm always open to to super matches as long as you know they're they're gonna bring out people and you know it's gonna influence on people to to train more or you know to train the right way. Yeah, for sure. Now. Yeah, um, I think, you know, it, it, it's just, you know, uh, uh, the way you train, you know, how you study the techniques, how you, you know, how you're able to, you know, to, uh, to bring jiu-jitsu to yourself, you know, like, uh, everyone has a way, a different way to learn, and I think I chose the, the right way to learn, you know, the, the, that applies to me better, you know, and I think studying jiu-jitsu and being able to understand, you know, the moves are the, the, the most important thing, and that's what I did when I was younger. Since you know, I was always manhandled by everyone, so I was lucky that I got the the right tactic to to you know grow my speed, grow my jujitsu in a, in a good speed. Speaking of mm, probably being smashed at the gyms, you know, since I started, you know, and uh, uh, you know, competing uh, in the absolute was never something that was not was something that I was never uh, thinking of, but. Uh, People was, uh, kept on saying, like, why don't you try? Why don't you try? And then I did it the first time. I was able to win, and I did it again. I won again, and I kept winning. And then I started uh, competing all the time. You sound very yes, because it's something that I never thought about it. You know, it was something that happened after I was a black belt for, like, three or four years already. You know, I, I lost a long time, <laughs> you know, not knowing that I could have won. But, you know, it's not uh, something, you know, they, that I brag about or anything. You know, it's, you know... Uh, uh, a lot, a lot of the times when you when you compete and win, it's not because you're better than someone. It's just because at that day you were better than someone. You know, I I, I was just lucky that I was better than than some people in a lot of a lot of the times. Yeah. You know, even the champions right now, I don't think they make as much as as the champions in jiu-jitsu because you know the I mean not the champions. I'm sorry, the 125 champions in MMA. I don't think they make as much as in, as in jiu-jitsu because. It's just a growing sport for smaller guys, you know, so it's very hard for you to break your whole face and, you know, get a lot of, you know, uh, injuries from the training, from the fight, you know, uh, be away from your family all the time because of the camps. The, the MMA camps are so much harder than the jiu-jitsu camps. So, you know, I don't think it's worth for me right now, you know, in a, in a matter of money or in a matter of, uh, um, you know, safety. So I believe that, you know, I won't be doing MMA, but you know, it's something that I always liked, you know, I always enjoy watching, so maybe, you know, in the future, who, who knows, but it's not something that I'm planning. This is Caio Ter for MMASucca.com at GravityBJJ.